This is part two of my video series, Gay Films Coming Out in 2022. The film industry is gifting us with blockbuster, Hollywood-backed gay films. All of the movie titles are in the description if you missed them. Stay tuned. Firebird is a romance drama set at the height of the Cold War. A troubled soldier forms a forbidden love triangle with a fighter pilot and his female comrade amid the dangerous surroundings of a Soviet Air Force base. Technically, the film premiered at the 35th BFI Flair Film Festival. However, it is showing at a few theaters in the States right now. Peter Rebane is the director he wrote the screenplay along with one of the co-stars, Tom Pryor. It screens at Rose, an LGBT Amsterdam film festival in March. Also, you can rent it on the film's website at firebirdmovie.com. La Piel Aina, or Out of Touch is about the birth, the joys, and pains of a romantic relationship accented by the sounds and colors of the infamous Zona Rosa in Mexico City. We follow Andres, played by Jorge Luis Moreno, and his relationship with Adrian, played by Ernesto Pert. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Pert. Adult film star Danny Montero plays in the film as well. Arturo Castellan, the writer and director, is an out and proud gay man. Filming started four years ago in Mexico. It is in post-production and will be released this year. And the film is titled La Piel Ajena or Out of Touch. For filmmakers, Arturo founded Festival Mix, an LGBT film festival held in Mexico City. It has been around for 20 years years. Applications are due now. Registration is only $10 and the festival would be held in June. Good luck. Lone Star Bull stars Luke McFarlane and Shangela. The story is about a bouncer at a nightclub where a medical student performs as a drag queen. When the owner of the club is shot in what appears to be a homophobic attack, the two form an unlikely duo to find those responsible and seek justice. McFarlane is best known for his roles in Brothers and Sisters and Killjoys and also stars in the all-LGBT production from Billy Eichner called Bros. Shangela, most known for RuPaul's Drag Race, has appeared in A Star is Born and We're Here on HBO. The film stars two other queer actors, Molly Bernard from Younger and Mad Men co-star Brian Batt. The film was shot in two months in Savannah, Georgia. The Inspection is a drama starring Gabrielle Union and Jeremy Pope. Pope played in the last season of Pose, but is also a Tony, Emmy, and Grammy nominated actor. A24 is producing the film. Elegance Bratton, who is black and gay, is writing and directing the film. Pope will portray a young gay man who enlists in the Marines. Union will play the mother whose approval he seeks. Bratton began making films as a U.S. Marine after spending a decade homeless because he was kicked out of his home for being gay. Bratton recently won an Independent Spirit Award for his documentary, Peer Kids, and previously directed the short films, Buck and Walk For Me. Blumhouse announced that screenwriter John Logan is set to direct an untitled LGBT horror film set at a conversion camp. Quay Tan, Austin Crute, Anna Lore, Monique Kim, Cooper Coke, Theo Germain, and Darwin Del Fabro join Kevin Bacon and Anna Klumsky. Austin Carute is a black gay actor most known for his role in Allen and Booksmart. Theo Germain is a non-binary 
actor and uses they, them, and he, him pronouns and is known for their work in The Politician and Work in Progress. Cooper Coke played in the short film Daddy with Dylan Spruce and in Swallowed. Quay Tan is a trans actress who played on Dear White People and How to Get Away with Murder. She was on the 23rd cycle of America's Next Top Model. And Darwin Del Fabro is a Brazilian actor. The film will stream on Peacock. Tony Award winner Matthew Lopez will direct the queer rom-com Red, White, and Royal Blue for Amazon Studios. Lopez made history as the first Latin playwright to win the Tony Award for Best Play for The Inheritance. It will be his feature directorial debut. Lopez rewrote a draft of the script and will executive produce. One of the producers is Greg Berlanti, who is also producing Bros and My Policeman. The cast has not been announced for this project as of yet. In things like this, when two guys with the same name start falling in love, it seems like everything has aligned for them to be together. But is fate ever exactly how you expect it to be? The gay comedy is in pre-production. It stars Mitchell Hogue, Santuan McRae, Charlie Tahan, Willem, and Krista Allen. Mitchell is known for playing in the reboot of Saved by the Bell, Harriet, and The Conjuring. Santuan is most known for being a cast member on Wild and Out, but he is also a dancer who has appeared in several music videos, including Todrick Hall's I Like Boys, Black Eyed Peas' Ring the Alarm, and Willem's Thick Thighs. Charlie is known for playing in Gotham as Scarecrow, as well as Wayward Pines, Castle Rock, and Ozark. Willem, most known for Drag Race, has over 90 acting credits on IMDb, including playing in A Star is Born, Nip Tuck, CSI, and Criminal Minds. Billy Porter is everywhere right now. He is directing three films this year. What If will be his directorial debut. Shortly after being tapped to direct What If, he was asked to direct a film titled Camp for HBO Max and Warner Brothers. Oscar winner Dan Jinks is producing it and Robert O'Hara is rewriting the screenplay by gay actor Kit Williamson. The film follows 16-year-old Randy at Camp Outland, a camp for queer teens, where he falls for Hudson. Hudson is only into straight acting guys and barely knows not at all straight acting Randy even exists. Randy butches himself up to get Hudson interested in him. I'm actually really excited to see that one. Also, Billy is set to direct a comedy tentatively titled To Be Real for Amazon Studios. Gabrielle Union's I'll Have Another Productions is behind the project. To Be Real is described as an LGBT super bad crossed with book smart. According to its logline, it's an edgy comedy about three queer high school seniors who go on the ultimate quest to attend their first New York Pride Parade. One Nist the Movie is about the 2013 honor killing of 18-year-old Ivan Martin by his male family members after they found out he was gay. The incident happened in Manipur in Northeast India, which is predominantly Hindu. The writer and director will star in it as Ivan Martin. George C. Wolfe is set to direct Rustin about the life of Bayard Rustin for Netflix. Bayard Rustin will be played by Coleman Domingo. Higher Ground Productions, owned by former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama, is producing the project. Black gay director Paris Barclay wrote and produced and is currently shooting a documentary on Billy Preston, a black gay musician who was signed to Motown. B-Boy Blue starring Timothy Richardson, Thomas Mackey, Lettucey, Brandy Evans, Broderick Hunter, and Samson McCormick premiered last year in November but is set to be released this year theatrically. Thanks for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writer Vic Yates for more about my art and literary projects. If you haven't already, check out part one of this video series, 
Then, in the comment section, let me know which movies you plan to watch and if I missed any other gay movies that are coming out this year. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.